Hi and welcome to this short video looking at some of the new features in Cubase 9's Mixer. So the Mix Console, as Steinberg call it, has been improved greatly, particularly since Cubase 7, where the Mix Console idea was introduced and answered a lot of the problems that, and questions that people had. Um, and now it's taken another step forward. Now probably the biggest part of this is just hidden on the left here. It's fairly straightforward and that is that there is history for the mixer channel so if we make any changes here uh, and also not just there but if i make changes to plugins etc this that and the other so you can see that all these things are being remembered and we can step back through them easily with alt and z or we can click and go forwards etc so you've got the ability to undo things in the mixer which have been asked for I think since Cubase SX first existed but uh, certainly for a long time and finally we have it uh, there are a few important things to note about this the most important thing is that this history is not saved with your project okay if you close the project and reopen it the history will be empty uh, I'd imagine otherwise the whole thing could just become a massive uh, huge great big file because with loads and loads of changes that you make I would think they would be enormous um, but whether or not that will happen in a future date or be possibly be split into another file we don't know but it's it's a really important thing um, we've got slightly more standard setup on the window so much like the project window we've got the left zone and the right zone which are capable of being done with keyboard shortcuts and we've also got the channel racks can be shown and hidden um, and the button here um, other things that have changed a little bit the meter bridge is slightly different because we have different choices of meters previously it was all ppm so if i just play this project uh, we can see ppm meters but for any where well, we've got audio tracks we can go into wave mode which is uh, familiar from a number of different programs so you can see where we've got audio tracks which can be useful i mean obviously it's it's nice for people to just go oh that's pretty but there are actually you know real useful things for this because you can see transits as they pass etc and you can have a bit more of a clue of what's going on without having to revert to the project window to do that okay so that's uh, quite a nice addition uh other than that everything's pretty much as it was in cubase 8 other than these controls are now a little nicer so if you've been using Cubase 8 you know they've flipped around a bit between different uh, styles of controls I didn't like the ones which appeared and then had the three magic buttons that you had to find here I understand why things can't be present all the time and it's nice now that the controls seem to be to me much more logical and, and sensible to allow you to edit it etc and so on with the E and the power button and the triangle to change the uh, assignation of it whether it's an insert or a send etc um, certainly seems to make a lot more sense to me um, so that's the main things I think for most people the history is going to be the the big game changer because it just allows you to make changes and undo them quickly so many has been the time when you've accidentally moved the wrong channel or experiment with a couple of things and then can't remember exactly where it was before that's all gone so hopefully that'll be a positive thing for you if you've enjoyed these videos and found them useful then subscribe by clicking on the mtt logo in the bottom of the screen now also visit musictechtuition.com for tips tricks and advice as well as information about the books i've written the complete guide to music technology using cubase 9 and Music Tech A level using Cubase 9. These are a great resource whether you're just getting started or you've been working for a few years now. The information in them will allow you to take your sequencing, recording and production to the next level and give you a well-rounded grounding in all areas of music technology.